All right, Ben, I feel like we have reached the saturation point on the uh, indie shooters what look like Quake genre, but uh, yep. you and Jeff both said this game is totally worth checking out, and uh, so here we are. Yeah, dude. With ver I, version 0.0.26 of previous. <laughs> That's right, this is uh, early access, came into early access about a month ago, um, but has been picking up word of mouth quite a bit because it's it's cool as hell and i don't even have like a ton of you know old school quake doom nostalgia i can tell you from the little i've played of it that it moves real good also oh yeah i feel like this description comes out of like a D <laughs> like a D, D source book a generator algorithm which is pretty awesome all right yeah let's get in here everything about this is like um i've been playing on hard all right just normal hard and all i've right. died you know okay. three or four times right. fair uh, everything about this is like faithful and then taken to another level. Yeah, like, I, I feel like that's my favorite way to do retro is not just make it look like the old thing. It's like make the underpinnings look like the old thing and then add a bunch of modern day looking stuff on top of it. Yeah, even mechanics wise, like the weapons kind of you have like alt fires for a lot of stuff. The music is is definitely what, what is kind of. Uh, what these games sound like, man. This game, this game rules. It moves. Yeah, even just like the visual effects, the lighting and stuff, it's like, yes. Yeah, look at that fire. Oh, what, what is it? That's a secret? This, there's definitely secrets, and there's definitely a giant text that pops on screen that says secret found when you find them. <laughs> oh, orange and blue, the two oh, colors. God. Yep, this is a video game, all right. Whoa. Oh, uh, you're starting from course. the very beginning, right? Of course, we're in hell now. I love it here. <laughs> Go right at home. Uh, yes, yes, this is a brand new campaign. Yeah, just admit, like immediately, it's just like, yep, it's a big long jump, just fast as hell. Like, yep, this is definitely. Definitely, yeah, definitely. So you got that. like a full on sprint. Um, there's a dash, but I haven't unlocked it yet. I've played like five or six levels. Um, okay. I did this twice. You're that looks like some kind of big freaking gun over there. You're, you supposed, to, you're supposed to fall in here, right? <laughs> I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think they're teasing you. Okay, okay. So I did this twice. I was like, come on, I can't be that bad at jumping. Um. Oh, right. Yeah, looking at this on Steam, like... Got like a weird, like, Metroid Prime vibe from the visor stuff. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of that, at least visually. Um, I really like that you can just hold down both mouse buttons. Oh, just, wow, I didn't... Okay, yeah. I thought you were supposed to alternate them. Okay, that, huh. Yeah, wow, huh. <laughs> you just punch. Punch? Oh. Yeah, I think you're also supposed to fall okay, down yeah. there. Like they don't do this trick anymore. I, I was definitely a little confused by this the first time I played. Ah. I felt like I was doing something wrong, but... I... huh. Okay. I was literally about to say, I bet there's no ADS in this game, but here we are. Interesting. I wonder I if this is the only gun so far oh. that I've seen that does it. And it actually shoots differently, too. Yeah, it does like a little burst shot yeah, versus this, like, where you can just kind of, like, uh, semi-auto tap. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Oh, there's that melty effect. That's good. That's so good. Okay, so this is the first real level. the music before and I wanted to look it up, but it, it, apparently it's Andrew Holschult, Holsch hmm. huh. who did um, stuff for Quake Champions, Doom oh. Eternal. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, he is a guy for this, oh. for sure. Yeah, they got the... Duke the Nukem 3D. Soundtrack is up on Steam for sale, actually. And I like... Th this game does a thing I like with the first person shooters where it kind of... Even the first weapon you get is viable. Yeah. Like, this pistol is good. It's kind of my only long-range weapon uh, where I'm at in the game. Um, don't want to spoil too much, but hey, you're going to get a shotgun Ooh. eventually, and you're going to get some other weapons that work at various ranges. They have you make an account. Well, they don't force you. It's optional. But they right. They straight up have an account creation system when you start this game, which I was a little taken aback by, but... 
Uh, oh, oh, yeah, apparently that stuff's only good or only used for, um, like, if you want to upload. You, you get scores on every level based on, you know, enemy completion rate, difficulty, yeah. all that stuff. Um, but there's also a fairly robust um, uh, scene for people to make their own maps. Yeah, there's like a kind of a. I started to say store. I mean, they're not selling the maps, as far as I can tell, but like a storefront-ish kind of thing to find maps, and it seems like there's a lot up there already. Yeah, there's a lot up, and they've been talking about doing a lot of support afterwards to, like, maybe even make your own mini-campaign and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, there's a straight-up, I don't know if you messed with it, there's a full-on level editor just built into the client. Yeah, there is. I was, I was too, like, I loaded it up, and I was just like, no, no. That is a very, like, late 90s, early 2000s thing to do. Because it just full-on opens, like, a Windows interface that is just the <laughs> editor. Yeah. So, you know, pretty pretty standard stuff. You got health pickups, you got armor pickups, ammo pickups. Um, eventually start getting into key cards. Um, oh. You can roll out of enemy types, you know, it's like, oh, here's a guy with a gun now. Oh, yeah. And eventually they're gonna get weirder and weirder. Look at that. So you can see on the gun itself, there's a little, oh, like... yeah, look at that. Yeah. Huh. All right. And it, it's nice because you can hold the charge forever. So most of the time when I'm running through these levels, I just have a fully charged shot ready to go. Cause it'll take down a lot of enemies in one fully charged blast. Hey. Dun, dun. These guys suck. Oh, still going. There seems to be some sort of, you know, um, uh, you shoot a guy in the arm and his arm yeah. will explode. Yeah, it looked like that dude was missing an arm but still going. Oh, there's something Look in here that. we're gonna get. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Nice. I love that effect of enemies spawning into the world. It, oh it, boy. Whoa. Oh, that was cool. Yeah. I look at that, except maybe not right now. I don't trust this game to pause the action when I go to the map. <laughs> In fact, it would actually... Uh, you can actually hold um, Q... For if you want to pause the game, I, something I picked up in later levels, uh, well, whatever your weapon select button is. Is that going to um, explode? What's going on here? Okay. I don't think so. Wow, that was quite a gout of blood there. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of blood in this game. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you can kind of flip between weapons here and it'll pause the action if you need a breather, but I, huh. I don't think the auto map actually pauses. Uh, what is it, T? Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, this game's got some style. It's looks pretty nice. Yeah, it, it does the thing I, I love with games where it is taking an old style and just making it look as good as you can with modern, yeah. you know, engine. Yeah, all the lighting and particles and stuff. Pretty nice. Also, it just moves like Quake, which is really all I ever want out of one of these games. I found, at least the difficulty I'm playing it on, the balance of, like, I feel like most of the time I have around 50 health, which is like, I think, perfect, you know? You don't want to, like, be rocking around with 100 health all the time. Uh, you don't want to be walking around with 10 health the whole time. Come here. Oh, that's class. Let's see how that blows up. Aww. Really took me until adulthood to appreciate that that's how these games are good, is to, like, constantly be scrabbling for resources, because just... As an, yeah. as an idiot kid, I just played Doom with codes on all the time. <laughs> right. like, I just want to be invincible and shoot everything, but like, you know, Doom is at its best when you were just like barely hanging on all the time. Totally, that's what I, like, like, Dead Space for me was my awakening to that. That's a game where, like, resources are very spread, are spread very thin, and you gotta make everything count. And then going back and, yeah, playing Doom for the first time, I, I was like, okay, yeah, this has been a thing in games for a while. Just I, not the games yeah, I'm playing. I, I still have a hard time believing that Doom holds up as well as it does. It's pretty incredible. Whoa. Yeah. Right. Sure. I love 
Yep, I love all the guns in this game, but these are maybe my favorite. I, I love a single-handed reload animation. <laughs> How's he doing it? Yeah, it was like very like Halo 2 kind of stuff. Yeah. I think that it's still my number one favorite reload animation of all time is Reaper from Overwatch, who just throws his shotguns away and yep. pulls two more yep. out from his coat. Kind of reminds me of Showdown. I mean, less, more, less when he's a skull. That's in. Ooh, okay. A little dicey there for a second. You know, you have different uh, weapons, but several of the weapons will... Or there's three of each weapon that use the same ammo type. Oh, those are uh, separate weapons? Okay, interesting. I was trying yeah, to figure so out like if this is just, like, variations or what, but okay. That makes sense. Oh, wow, that's a lot of weapons, actually. Yeah, I don't know if they're all in the game yet, because, you know, like I said, I'm on level, like, five or six, and I've only got maybe three or four more weapons than you have here. Um, oh, wow, that weapon is very bloody. Oh, wow, yeah, I never even noticed that. Like, that looks super nice, because this... Uh, the gun model looks like a sprite. I don't... I assume it's not. I mean, it looks like... I mean, I assume it's actually 3D, but, like, it looks like a Doom sprite, but then it's all affected yeah. by lighting and stuff. Like, that's... Oh, yeah. A lot of... You can tell a lot. They, these people love that kind of game, and we're like... Let's make it as good as it, it's. It, it doesn't feel like a cash in. It doesn't feel like, oh, people love Doom. There's like a huge new wave of Dooms right. and quakes out there. But there's so many, so much attention to detail, so many little effects that you can tell they're like, what's the coolest we can make this look? I also ended up on their GitHub page somehow, because they because okay. they also have some open source game making tools out there, which is like. When you get down to it, it's like actually the most period appropriate, like late 90s <laughs> sure. shooter thing to do. It's to just yeah. be like doing some free stuff on the side. Any tools? We're noting that, I don't think we mentioned it, it seemingly two people yeah. are behind this game. Um, and they raised uh, money for this the Kickstarter that I read. It like got fully funded within 48 hours based off the trailer. Yeah, I couldn't figure out too well where they have worked before because they said they were like industry veterans it looked like i think one of them was like raven for a while which yeah raven and insomniac i think and the other one I, I was trying to look them up and their only listed credit i could find was on shadow of the colossus huh interesting uh the like remake hmm. hey do you think anyone's on oh. the elevator <laughs> <laughs> Just look at that blood. Oh, this one looks very good. Hmm. Probably didn't want to do that. 
Oh, well, interesting. So the checkpoints are just like pickups then. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, wait, can the char shot hit like multiple dudes? Uh, I, I think up. it doesn't it, it doesn't like blow through okay. guys, but it will hit them like multiple guys with that standard shotgun spread. Um, yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. Does it take more ammo? Really good. Oh, no, no, I don't think it does. And like there's a there's a pretty sizable difference because like there are these monsters that you're gonna encounter soon that one fully Charge blast will kill them in one hit, but I did a like level four charge out of five, and then it took like three or four more standard shots to get him, so it's like really worth charging those up. Here's ten health. Go enjoy <laughs> the rest of your day. I am going to play way more of this, and I'm not going to play any more Doom Eternal. <laughs> Man, harsh. <laughs> I, mean, I, it. I do want to check out that DLC. Oh my god, I died. I think I got that checkpoint. Uh, I do want to check out that DLC they just put out like a month ago for Doom Eternal. Uh, I don't hate Doom Eternal. No, it's not I, quite what I was hoping for out of a sequel to Doom 2016, but... Yeah, they, they leaned way more into the combat puzzle aspect of it, which some people really like. For I, sure. It is a very, like, polarizing game I've found. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, it's, it's like a little more, like, character action game almost than I... It feels like it's a little more, um... There is a right way to play the encounters. Yeah. And if you're not engaging with that, you're kind of shit out of luck. And like, just way too much platforming. Yeah, there's quite a lot of that. Uh, apparently that new DLC is just like insanely hard. That's all I've heard anybody say about it. Even really? people I know who are like very good at shooters are just like, dude, this thing is insane. I kind of want to see it that just makes sense. for that. I feel like it, it, a very hardcore audience got into that game. Um, Hey, you got a key card. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Uh, this game does a great thing of whenever you get a new weapon, they always give you just like a room full of idiot dudes to kill with them. That was like the moment in 2016 that I knew that I loved that game was when they give you the BFG and then just like, <laughs> all right, now here is a room of 50 completely <laughs> Uh, you know, impotent enemies that can't do shit for you to just <laughs> melt with this thing. Oh. 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 Wait a minute. Oh, this is that room. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Ooh. Okay. What a good effect. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Ah. <laughs> huh. <laughs> oh, that's a good battle. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I like I like that each of the levels, you know, I feel like I've spent no more than 20 minutes per level. What in um, the world? This is this is the what? only part of the game that's a little wonky this to is, me. Is, wow, I'm not even like mad about it or anything. It's just like... <laughs> huh. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. I know. Id Software came about by trying to make a PC version of Super Mario Brothers, so... I suppose <laughs> this is appropriate in some way. Weird. Okay, sure. And so you'll see, like, like that locked gate up there to the upper right. It, you need a certain oh. number of, of artifacts oh, huh. to get in. Okay. Um, oh, and then cool. those green little things are like warps to side levels, like there's a shotgun trial where it's like, okay, you have one minute to hit all these targets with a shotgun and stuff like that. I like that. 
All right, I'll pop in here real quick. I kind of want to yeah. take a look at this. I kind of want to see what's in the community map section. Oh, there's a really good secret at the start of this one. Oh, wow. Huh. <laughs> hey, there's no copyright on big, <laughs> glowy demon portal. That's right, hell is for everyone. Oh, these guys. This is nice. what you guys are talking about. Also, I think they're straight up, like, you can shoot them in the head for more damage. Ah. I haven't, like, tested it fully, but definitely feels like it. Oh. My limited, like, run around and do stuff. That feels pretty good. Okay, yeah. That looks nice. So, uh... Keep, uh, oh. keep right here when you go down there. Shit. Ah. Nice. Wait, wait, don't go yet. No, I go back. Go back. Yeah, to where that portal was. Oh, was that the secret? Yeah. Dun dun, dun dun. <laughs> I feel like if you're making quick Doom music, you just start with that. Yep, like, no, nope. pretty much. And then work backwards. <laughs> so yeah, go around that gate and keep to the like right, yeah. like down by the lava oh, on whoa, the whoa. left. Yeah. There's like a little part you can jump to. Oh, like there? Yeah. Hmm. Ah. Oof. Nice. Yeah, this is worth it, I promise. Nice. Hmm. You go up. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course you can do that. Whoa. What a little stinker. Ooh. Yeah. Ha! Great. Yeah. Perfect. Er. Well, now I need to kill something with this. A little hot tip for the viewers at home. They play Rudeus. I wonder if that's like something you wouldn't get unless you get that secret on this level. Like, I think, I think, yeah, I think this level, because like later on, I think in the next level maybe there's a full-on like you open a door and there's just a rocket launcher sitting there right. and then a bunch of dudes spawn. Um, I should say this is only out on on Steam right now, but they said it is coming to consoles, oh. uh, including the Switch. Um, Pretty good rocket launcher. Listed for current gen, but they have stuff for, for previous gen. Yeah, I look at their low, I look at their early access page, and it was just sort of like, more of everything. Under the, right. under the what are you adding, it's just like, more monsters, more weapons, more levels. Yeah. Like an additional mini campaign. This seems to be like a pretty fully fleshed out campaign, um, from what I can tell. Oh boy. The uh, 25, yeah, 25, 25 bucks. That's right. Uh, oh no. Alright, um... Why don't we go see what kind of maps we can download? Probably a good place to stop, right? Yeah. Okay. Even that is very good. <laughs> the top Steam review just says, It's Doom 2, but middle-aged now, but it's still wearing that 9-inch oh, male t-shirt man in the high school. fucking Steam page for this game <laughs> self-describes as a boomer shooter, and I don't know <laughs> if I can ever play video games again. I... Oh, man. I just... Come on. Uh, <laughs> man, boomers hated Doom. <laughs> boomers are the ones who held fucking congressional hearings about Doom. Don't pin that shit on me. Uh, okay. Where are we going here? Um... Uh, yeah. I, I think you go to main? campaign. Oh, you have to yeah. back out the campaign before main menu? Okay. Ah, okay. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, if you hit level editor, it just straight up spawns like literally a Windows interface that's just the level <laughs> editors. <laughs> that's great. Uh, okay. Wow, interesting. Oh yeah, you've got yeah, lots of like, different like options and filters and this stuff. Is some, this is some definitely some UGC ass stuff here. <laughs> just we'll shoot the target. <laughs> Hotel, the church. Yeah, this is yes. You went M1. <laughs> right. Wait, did you actually see that? <laughs> yeah, scroll up a little bit. Try not to click on up. super turbo super lunger turbo. puncher. Lunger puncher. Uh, you want one more? M1. Maybe one more. It was in the top left. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yes, there it okay. is. Well, yes, of course, we have to look at that. <laughs> this all time classic with a little extra sauce. I guess, you know, like E1M1 is just 1 1, but for shooters, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Wow, yeah, okay, uh, sure, I can see it. Wow. Man, this <laughs> looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of guys. I'm not really a guy who like always turns off screen shake ah, um, when given the opportunity, but it, it just works in this game. Crap. Oh man. Oh. Oh. I need that armor that I knew would be up here. <laughs> it's like knowing which pipe to go down to get the coin. Yep. In one hole. Just muscle memory at some point. So I keep forgetting to sprint and like, man. Yeah. Fucking move. Whoa. That was really interesting. Wait, holy shit. See some more enemies, but man. They can hit each other. Oh, great. Um, which is really helpful for the minigun guy. Because yeah, look, you'd already killed one guy. Man, this is rough stuff. Oh, ooh, give me that. There you go. And you can just keep it spinning with right click. Great. Great. <laughs> Not too shabby. This is ludicrous. Ludicrous jibs, that is. Alright, uh, does secret work? Yes, it does. <laughs> oh. I imagine it'd be pretty cool to be, like, one of the devs and load this up. Yeah. <laughs> this, is just, this is the highest of validation for your work. <laughs> yep. Pretty good. Sure. Let's see. embarrassing, but I can never remember how to drop this platform. Just use it. Oh. There's absolutely a way to make that thing come down, and I don't... Ah. Right. <laughs> Great. Perfect. Not bad. Well done. There's some secrets there. All right, pop into one more here. Is it, can you sort? Go to search options. Can we sort by like? Oh, uh, yeah, let's do what? Ah, of course. Do tag, of course. <laughs> Quake. Oh. Quake oh, tag. Man. Somebody make DM three. Oh, wait, how do I just... Uh, hmm. Kind of disappointed that people are using the map's real names and not just their file names, because that's the only <laughs> way that I know them. Um... Outer base, I think it's way to level one? Sounds right. Yep, it is 100% that. So, 
Also a very faithful recreation of that map. <laughs> Great. Like, extremely. Huh. Uh. Should be open. Maybe they make you go through here. They've got a um, very active Twitter full of like, you know, retweeting anyone who kind of posts something about like, I made this tutorial about how to do flowing lava and stuff. So. That's cool. Yeah, like that's like I was saying, they've got those some free tools for game dev stuff out there. Yeah, um, they seem to be really wanting to support this on GitHub term. But also, that just seems like the way to make one of these things is lean hard into the modding and like. Oh, the mapping scene and stuff. Hey, and then, you know, you want to expand? You know, reach out to some people who've been, uh, been working on your game. So, yeah. Like, it's... But also, you know, this kind of becomes like a de facto, like, game development training tool sort of thing. You yeah. just give people all your tools. That's how people get jobs in game development. Which is super cool. Alright. Just need to see what that... Super turbo turkey puncher spoof is about, and then we can. Oh, I can save all the. Uh, Enter P Link! That's P Link. Maybe just like a shortcut to a specific map or something? Oh, what is. Huh. Brody and Christmas! Yeah, it's it's okay. a way to oh. directly share Alright, this is the last thing we're gonna look at. Cargamel Gold. Yep. Cargamel Gold. Funny. Christmas Doom remains one of my favorite Doom memories, so... Somebody make the Simpson one, please. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm Santa's ghost! Sure. <laughs> Find the holiday room! Oh, yeah. Oh, this, oh, this oh, is this straight up? Oh, man, that's, that's fantastic. <laughs> that's good stuff. If they had just put a little Santa hats on these guys, this would be perfect. <laughs> So it needs to be playing like Jingle Bells dot mid right now. But <laughs> you know, early access, there's yeah. still time. Alright. Thing seems pretty promising. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on it. Uh I, I think it's even worth getting into now. I mean, a lot of times, especially for single-player stuff, I'm hesitant to go all in on early access, but there seems to be enough in here and enough community support yeah. going that it's nice to, there's plenty to do. Nice to, nice to click browse on the community stuff and actually see a ton of stuff there. And not, not like, maybe you'll be the first one to upload something. Just please never use the phrase boomer shooter again. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, um, this may break the capture, I'm not sure how OBS is gonna handle this, but... Yeah, no, here it is. Oh, oh yeah. It just works. Cool. Great. So, yeah, if you wanna... <laughs> <laughs> wow. You get your game dev That's on, this is, this is, this is extremely 90s shooter, just like, yeah, we're gonna build the level editor into the client. Just, it's all there, so... Game Spy icon. Yeah, I was gonna say the Game Spy oh, is boy. here. All right. Well, now we definitely need to end All that this. Rory. Yep, that's right. Uh, cool. Yeah, Proteus. Proteus with a D, not Proteus with a T, which is a completely different game from like eight years ago. <laughs> it's worth pointing out. But uh, cool. Yeah, this is twenty five bucks on Steam. It seems pretty promising. Thanks, Ben. Thanks.